okay, um, 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Blue Nevis, I like that you pointed out the dense sclerosis in the background. Blue Nevi usually have dense collagen in the background that's denser than the background dermis. It's a very nice uh, diagnostic clue. They have, sometimes they have a lot of pigments, sometimes they have almost none, uh, so-called amelanotic blue nevus or, or hypopigmented, uh, non-pigmented blue nevus. I would say though that <clears throat> almost always, if you look around, you'll find uh, tiny bits of melanin pigment, even in the ones that have very low pigment, there's usually some pigment present. The pigment is present both in dendritic, spindly, elongated melanocytes in their cytoplasm, and also in background, uh, kind of larger, chunkier melanophages. So you get both of those. And the, it can have a range of cellularity from being very sparse, kind of sclerotic and hypocellular, to being a little bit more cellular like this. Um, and sometimes they're, you know, kind of, this is not really that large, but it's larger than some, some that we see are really tiny, like in everyday practice. But this is totally like fine as a normal blue nevus. Here, I like the, this case that if we got to the edge on this second piece, it looks a little bit different. There's like more pigment here. So this would also be fine if you just had this blue nevus still. A lot of the ones we see in practice are little tiny things like this, um, but you can see ones like this and, and much bigger and even more cellular than this. So it's gotta be quite a bit more cellular and deep for me to call it a cellular blue nevus. And uh, they do um, both cellular and regular blues. They will sometimes track along adnexa like that, track down a little bit along hair follicles and wrap around them. It's pretty normal to see that. Oh, and the last thing, <clears throat> blue nevi usually have collagen trapping. So if you take the pigment away, a blue nevus looks a lot like a dermatofibroma. The difference I think is the cells in dermatofibroma are often a little bit more plump and you often get epidermal hyperplasia, which you don't usually have in blue nevi. And um, the pigment, if you have pigment in a dermatofibroma, it's gonna be hemosiderin pigment. And in a blue nevus, it's melanin pigment. 